What's up everyone, Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Today we're gonna to be looking at three different knives and these knives come to us from CRKT and these are a partnership with Ruger. So Ruger and CRKT are working together to bring these knives to you. Um, I got a fixed blade and two folders and I'm gonna call one a large folder and then one a ginormous, just big folder. So stay tuned, we're gonna check out these uh, these knives. We'll show you close-ups and uh, give you a sense of what CRKT and Ruger have to offer us. Here's the first knife, this is the two-stage. This is the full-size edition and there's also a compact edition as well. The length of the blade for the full size is four inches and for the compact is 3.58 inches. The steel is 8CR 13 MOV. Your Rockwell hardness is 58 to 59. Uh, the closed length for this knife is 5.47 and open from end to end is 9.44 inches. The weight is 5.8 ounces. The handle is hard anodized aluminum and stainless steel. And it is, as you can tell, a folding knife that has a frame lock. So let me just give you, a, there's one side of it. There's your Ruger emblem, a Ruger logo. On the other side, you can see CRKT. It does have a pocket clip that can be positioned here, here, there, and there as well. So lots of different ways to set up the pocket clip. I've actually used this knife quite a bit already, and uh, I can tell you that that Tonto end is really nice for piercing. It doesn't have the IKBS system, so to uh, to unlock it or to you know basically deploy the blade, you're probably going to want to flick your uh, flick your wrist a little bit but just due to the weight and size of the knife, it is gonna open pretty effectively, pretty quickly. Other things to note, you do have this uh, glass breaker uh, and it also has a hole for a lanyard if you wanna put a lanyard there. So I'm jumping there, jumping up top. And for a definitely a large size blade, I would still say this one feels quite manageable. Um, I've hold, held some large blades and just been like, how could you ever use this? You could definitely EDC this blade if you don't mind a large size blade and uh, certainly is a usable knife. Once again, this is the two-stage. Next up, we have the Ruger Accurate, and this is gonna be a fixed blade. Great for a hunting knife, camping knife, just general kind of utility tasks when you're out there in the woods. Some of the specs on the knife, your blade length is 4.37 inches. Obviously, it's a plain edge. There are no serrations on this one. Your steel is 8CR13 MOV. Satin finish, your thickness is 0.16 inches. Your end-to-end -end length, 8.95 inches, your weight 6.1 ounces. It is a TPR uh, rubber overmold, and it does come with a sheath as well. Let me show you the sheath real quick here. That's what that looks like. Nothing too fancy, but it does seem to work. This is stitched. And here's what it actually looks like in the sheath. There is a uh, there is a plastic liner in here, and I will tell you that they put some of that basically silica gel inside it um, to make sure that no, no moisture gets in there. You just gotta you know kind of put the knife in and pry it out. But that's what that looks like actually in the sheath. Really cool little knife. I like this one quite a bit. That's why I asked uh, asked for this one to uh, to check out. But cool blade, very comfortable. Got the Ruger uh, emblem there. Spot for a lanyard at the end. No exposed pommel. You're not gonna be doing any smashing or anything with that. But that concept of all, like you know using a knife to smash and break things, I just never really have a need to do that. But this is the Ruger Accurate. This is the last knife we're looking at here, and this is the Go and Heavy. So Go dash N dash Heavy. You can get this in the full size or the compact size. The compact has a 3.5 inch blade, and the full size has a five inch blade. I'll show you what the sheath looks like in just a moment here. Let me give you some specs. So again, blade length five inches, plain edge. Your steel is 8CR13 MOV. The, the finish is stone wash. Your thickness is 0.18 inches. Your clothed length, clothes length is 6.18 inches. Your open length end to end, 11.18 inches. Your weight is 5.8 ounces, and it does come with a, uh, a sheath that is um, basically your ballistic nylon, you know, with a liner inside. When you look at this knife on camera, you might be like, okay, yeah, so it's a folding knife, but this thing is ginormous. I mean, look at that. That is just a big honking knife. So application for this, you know, if you want a big beefy knife, 0.18 inches, this might be one to check out. Now, when I took this out of the box, I was like, you gotta be kidding me. This thing is just, just monstrous. It reminds me, um, Maybe because it's from Ruger as well, you know, a uh, firearms company. It reminds me of the HK uh, Conspiracy, uh, the Heckler & Co. Conspiracy, which is a fixed blade, a little bit shorter than this, but just a big, beefy knife. I'll show you what it looks like to actually put it in the uh, in the sheath here. So it is a liner lock. Fold that up. Put it inside the sheath like so. 
and there's that. And deploying it, you got the thumb stud, swing that out. Man, this thing is just, it's just huge. So what I want to do now is roll in some photos of some of the other knives that Ruger and CRKT have worked together on, just so you can see off their website, you know, what some of them actually, uh, what some of them actually look like. The purpose of this video is just to let you know that CRKT and Ruger have partnered up and give you a look at some of these knives. Um, they will be available uh, in retailers. The plan is April 1st, 2016, and they're going to be available places like Cabela's, Sportsman Warehouse, Academy Sports, uh, Bass Pro Shop, Gander Mountain, AG Russell, Shields, Walmart, Field & Stream. So lots of, uh, of different uh, retailers are going to be carrying these knives. And uh, I, in particular, I like the, um, I like the, what is this one called, the Accurate, I believe again. Yep. And then um, I like this one, the two stage. I think this is going to be a real, really cool knife. Uh, it is big and hefty as an EDC knife, but I don't mind carrying a, a larger, a larger EDC knife. This one, I'll be interested to see what people think. I mean, again, it's just so huge. I wonder what the application would be and how different people are going to actually, uh, can actually use it. But um, this one in particular, I think, you know, as far as a companion knife, if you like doing stuff in the outdoors, this could be a very, a very nice. Uh, knife to use. The reason they went with 8CR13 MOV most likely is just to keep the price point down. You know, the higher, the higher you go, um, the price point's going to go up as you use something like 154CM or something like that. So they uh, they tried to keep the price down and use that 8CR13 MOV uh, instead. Not the greatest steel in the universe, but it's definitely budget friendly. Um, and I would say, you know, for what you're paying, uh, the 8CR13 MOV is is a good steel. You're not going to pay a ton of money. Um, for that so it's you know keeping it in a, a range where you don't have to dump out a ton of cash to get these knives so once again CRKT and Ruger partnering up to make some knives you saw these ones we talked about them a little bit and you saw the ones that were in the photos as well so uh, what we'll be doing is you know testing these out and looking at looking at them in the future and my guess is that you'll hear more about these at SHOT Show 2016 so stay tuned for videos from Everyday Tactical Vids as we head out to SHOT Show this year Thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids on YouTube if you have not done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Check us out on Instagram and Tumblr as well. Take care.